that stands for New Mexico. You're watching KLB4 News at 6.30. And happening right now at 6.30, state lawmakers are busy finishing up the final days of this current 30-day legislative session. They have, in fact, until noon on Thursday to get bills across the finish line. One of the most important, perhaps the most important of all, is our state's budget proposal. It is the only bill that state lawmakers have to approve. Griffin Rushton is live at the state capitol. So Griffin, how are the money talks going right now? Well, they're looking pretty good right now. With just about three days left until that deadline, the historic $10.1 billion budget proposal is on track to reach the governor's desk with time to spare. The Senate approved the massive spending plan on a 31 to 10 vote earlier today, and that's after adding about $32 million more million on top of the spending plan that House lawmakers already approved. That funding increase is to uh, provide more money for universal school meals, ro uh, food banks, and some other initiatives. We should mention the Senate version also includes millions more dollars for road improvement projects and affordable housing. The state budget proposal uh, includes significant funding boosts for almost every state agency, including pay raises for most state workers and public school employees. It also commits more than a billion dollars in trust funds and endowments to use in future years. Lawmakers say that's to prepare for potential decreases in oil and gas revenue. Now, despite those predictions, lawmakers say New Mexico's bank account is in pretty good shape right now. You may not like everything that's happening here, but New Mexico, you are not a poor state. Quit telling other people you're a poor state. The budget proposal now heads back to the House, which will have to approve the Senate's changes before sending it off to the governor. Now, talking about the budget wasn't enough for the Senate today. They also tackled the massive omnibus tax package. It's a single bill that combines all sorts of tax proposals. The Senate added several new tax credits for renewable energy solutions, teacher purchased school supplies, and families that adopt special needs children. Of course, a major overhaul to New Mexico's income tax brackets is the big ticket item. Most New Mexicans can expect a lower tax rate next year if this fully gets approved, but some Republicans still criticize increases in other areas despite historic state revenue. We've got really good income. We got billions of extra dollars. And the House actually put a couple of tax increases in here. Why in the world are we increasing taxes on anybody when we're sitting on billions of dollars? Now, the Senate eventually approved the, the tax package proposal on a 26 to 13 vote. Like the budget proposal, it now heads back to the House, who will have to approve uh, the final changes before sending it off to the governor's desk before that deadline on Thursday. Back to you, Trevor.